What is up, everybody? My name is Bobby. I do music today. On the board, we've got the Boss Wazacraft Fuzz FZ1, whatever order those things go in. Uh, honestly, I don't think I said this in the Muffaletta video I did earlier, the Big Muff thing. Link here. Uh, it, that is one of my favorite fuzzes. This, honestly, is my favorite fuzz, and I think it's criminally underrated. I think it goes under the radar a ton ever since it came out. Um, particularly for people who maybe don't like fuzz or think they don't like fuzz, because I was that way for the longest time. Um, this is a fuzz that feels more like a distortion to me personally. And yeah, let's talk about it. So, signal chain. Trusty old Ibanez S320 with the DiMarzio deactivator pickups into the fuzz, into the uh, Synergy B-Man link over here for that video if you're interested. And the B-Man on its own, make sure pedal's off here, sounds like this. Just breaking up uh, gives the fuzz something to kind of bite into. Uh, so B-Man into the Two Notes Torpedo Live with my usual Mesa 4x12 cab uh, that I use for all my stuff and just a touch and reverb for some flavor. So, the Fuzz FZ1 is not based on any prior circuit. According to Boss, it's its own thing. And it's got a little secret. Uh, right now, I've got it hooked in uh, with my Rev G8 gate like I usually do for most of these just to keep noise down. And um, it just makes my job editing this easier, you know, so there's not a bunch of background noise while I'm talking or not talking. Uh, but if you plug straight into it and have this first in the chain, it works really well with your volume control. So we'll do that towards the end. Right now I'm gonna stick with it as is uh, in my chain. So gate off, you know, adds a little bit of hiss there. Now it's gone. So running with the gate there in four cable mode, pardon me, let's talk about it. So we've got, uh, what is it? Level, fuzz, and tone. And then we've got this V and M switch, which is vintage and modern. The vintage mode is going to be a little bit more scoop. Not much, not dramatically, but just a little bit more scoop, kind of fuzz face tone bendery. And then modern is going to have a little bit more gain. It's going to be a little bit more mid forward, mid focused. Uh, and both of them sound great to me. I, it's, it's awesome to have the options, but it's a very usable, very fun pedal. I love this fuzz. So we're going to talk about it. I'm going to bring the gain back. I'm sorry, the level back to noon, the tone to noon and the uh, fuzz. Let's just start with it down and we'll wind through the gain and then I'll switch to modern mode. And you can hear the difference and then we'll go through the tone control and then some different settings I kind of like to use. So pedal off. Let's kick it on.
it's fuzz. But like in the lower kind of, you know, before like two o'clock. Sounds like an old school overdrive kind of thing. And I love that. I love that for it. I love that for you. So with it up more fuzzy at about three o'clock here, let's go through the tone control still in the vintage mode. Whoa, black daddy, bam, bam. So there's a huge low end roll off with the tone uh, most of the way up to all the way up. And then down low, it just gets woolly and, and, and big and everything in between. Like there's something usable just about everywhere there, depending on the context and the kind of music you're playing. I personally think the sweet spot lives between 11 and one o'clock. <laughs> Go up to about one o'clock here. Get a little bit more of that fizz and that that bite. So let's leave it about noon here. Let's talk about that vintage modern switch. So vintage mode, like I said, is going to be a little bit more scooped. Uh, modern mode is going to be a little bit more forward and a little bit more gain. Here's vintage. Take it over to modern. I, mm, I love that. I love the, the mid push there. It sounds a lot more, what's the M stand for? Modern. It sounds a lot more modern um, and just usable in a modern music context. If you want fuzz without needing to like throw an EQ and just blast the mid range to get it to sit right in a mix or punch out with a band. It's just back to vintage mode. Still a good sound, don't get me wrong, and it sounds old school. It sounds like what I imagine an old tone better bender to sound like, uh, based on what I've heard in other videos. I've never actually played through one, but it's got it. It gives me that mm, that that sort of thing. This is honestly an amazing pedal. That again, I think a bunch of people just kind of wrote off. It's underappreciated, but. Uh, yeah, after I saw a video of Rabia Massad uh, testing a bunch of fuzzes and he stuck with this one for a long time, I was like, I gotta, I gotta give me one of those. So, yeah, um, the other thing I wanted to show, I mentioned earlier, when you're plugged straight into it, when it's first in your chain, 
uh, it does react to your volume uh, knob rolling down, similar to like a silicon fuzz face or any fuzz face, really. Um, boss say that the input the input impedance isn't as susceptible to having a buffer before it, which is why it sounds pretty decent with the the buffer from the rev running into it. <laughs> It doesn't splat like a like a like an old school fuzz would, but if you roll down the volume with a buffer in front of it, you don't quite get the same touch dynamics. That you would on an old fuzz face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut and we're going to switch to me plugging straight into the front of the the, the Waza fuzz without the gate. So there is going to be some added noise. Apologies to my future editor self uh, who has to edit that noise out in between. But yeah, uh, so going from, I'm going to crack the volume by one there. And this is one neck pickup single coil uh, into the Waza as you see it. So that's that. Haven't touched the volume. I'm going to cut now. That was a bad clap. Let me try that again. I'm going to cut right now. So I haven't touched the volume on the guitar. I gently, carefully set it down as is, and I plugged uh, from uh, what was into my board into the G8, the gate. Now I'm going straight into the fuzz, straight into the B-man. Nothing else has changed. You can do that, roll the volume off to get that sort of Hendrixy. In fact, let me give it just a little bit more now that we've gone through this. Ha! <laughs> you knew how to play that song once upon a time. Wind the volume back. Now, without a buffer in front of it, it is a little bit, uh, not weaker in a bad sense, but it's not quite as juiced. Um, but it doesn't react poorly to a buffer like an old school fuzz does. It still sounds good with the buffer in there. So with that in mind you've got a totally usable fuzz anywhere in your chain if you want the chimey roll the volume back off sort of thing hendrixy sort of thing yeah that was on i thought it was off got that and then still with the uh let's actually go to the modern mode and do the same thing so let's go let's actually we'll go vintage first roll the volume back go to modern mode Roll the volume on your guitar back up. Roll her back down. Just, yeah, I, I, I really think this is underappreciated. I hope more people find out about this because it'll end up otherwise being, knock on wood, uh, one of those things where Boss will be like, eh, it didn't sell that well, discontinue it. And then someone finds a video of someone 
uh, online demoing it and they're like, holy crap, that that is amazing. So yeah, get get you a boss FZ1. Like just just have it. It's such an awesome pedal. Anyway, that's been the FC1. I adore this thing. You guys have been wonderful. My name is Bobby. I appreciate you guys sticking around, checking out the video. Like and subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. I've got more videos coming out. I will see you though in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>